progress on these things as I would have liked. Um, yeah. I have, because I have a lot of projects going on, it's kind of like you have to kind of split your attention a little bit. Um, but I've tried to use everything that's in this project at least once over the last month. So, um, but because it's only once, it doesn't necessarily show much project, progress. English. So the first one for January was a garnet from my Lorac um, Pro 1 palette, which is that one right there. Um, I've used it once in an eyeshadow look and I quite liked it and that was pretty much it. <laughs> Did, I'm pretty sure it didn't get used again the, the whole month. Um, Mainly because I've been reaching for my crown palette, which is my pan that palette. Um, yeah, so. Uh, for February, it was the Matte Amethyst uh, lipstick from LA Colors. I've worn this once, um, and I dinged. The top of it slightly dinged, but because I only wore it once, it actually doesn't look any different. Uh, yeah, so um, that is actually... Um, going to be my focus lipstick for February in my lip service one so hopefully that will have more progress on it next month. March was the Aquafoil um, sample eyeshadow pigment thing. Um, I haven't I haven't used it. I'm pretty sure I haven't used it. should get onto that. Uh, April was the Diamond Lust uh, single eyeshadow from NYX. Oops. Um, it has a little bit of pan because I kind of dinked it. Um, I think I've used this once or twice. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot. It's got like a it looks like it's got an empty spot underneath. Like it's got a hole in it underneath. It's weird. Weird. Uh, Moonstone. Oh, sorry, no, Emerald City. Um, May for Emerald uh, was Emerald City eyeliner, which I've used quite a bit. It just doesn't seem to be going very fast. Um, it's like a little tiny. Like I literally sharpened it. Yeah, that's, that's how much. I should probably sharpen it more often though, because I tend to use it in my top line. Um, uh, June Moonstone, the Sally Hansen nail polish. I haven't actually used this one. It's actually the only nail polish that's in a project that I haven't actually touched yet. So that one doesn't hasn't gone anywhere. And the lips liner that I had for Ruby... The Anoxa one, I haven't actually used the red lip liner, so it hasn't changed any either. Uh, August was the Jaded Nail Polish from Revlon. This is going to be a real challenge because this nail polish is quite thin. Um, requires several coats, which is really weird for a top speed one. But it's also really hard to control. It like floods into the cuticles like really, really easily. So I'm hoping as I go on and use it a bit more that it'll thicken up a bit and that'll be less of a problem. But at the moment, this is not fun to play with. Uh, September is All Night Blue, which was a pressed pigment from L'Oreal. I think I've used this like once, quite honestly. Um, yeah. And it's not going. It's going to take ages before that shows any any difference whatsoever. Um, for October, it was opal, which is the shadow from the Lorac Mega Pro, which is this one here. I have used it once, so it doesn't even look like I've touched it. 
November is Lemonhead from Sally Hansen for Citrine. This is probably the thing that shows the most progress, quite honestly. And for December, I have the little denim dress from NYX. I've actually used this twice, surprisingly enough. I've actually used this twice. Um, I don't know how much more product is in here, probably heaps, but I have used it twice. Oops. So that is my update for my Birthstones Beauty project with the Fantastic Ladies. As I said at the start, everyone will be linked down below in the down bar, so make sure you go check them all out. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Panda videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!